Give me the next 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you exactly how to compile a list of future tech careers that you can apply for leveraging AI. In the past, I've taught people how to use my query method to find hidden jobs. The problem though, is that that's very manual. You have to go through, run the query, run the keywords, and then look through each job, figure out if the job still even exists, and then decide if you want to apply for it or not. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna speed this up by leveraging ChatGPT's operator plan. We're gonna send an operator to go do that task and have it compile a list of open jobs for us according to our criteria. And then we're gonna use that spreadsheet to then speed up our job search process. We're actually testing this right now at scale with our mentorship clients, and we're teaching this to our bootcamp learners. So if you're interested in learning more, you can check out the description below. I wanna show you the spreadsheet. I've got an operator running right now, and if you've never used ChatGPT's operator plan, this is gonna blow your mind. It's probably the coolest technology that has come out in the last few weeks. And we've been testing it out on a variety of different activities. And so we're, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. First, we need to do is we need to go into the operator and I'm gonna explain the process that we used. So the first thing that you're gonna do is prompt it. And so what I like to do is test out the steps of my process first before automating the process. And so you wanna make sure that the operator can actually access the data that you're looking for. So the first thing you're gonna tell it to do is that you're an expert job researcher and can find the best opportunities based on a given criteria. We're giving it instructions to go to Google and use a query search for a specified keyword on a job board. We give it the formula and then we give it an example and then try this now and see what you come up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll go ahead and we'll run a new operator right now. So we'll go ahead and paste that in. And it's going to open up a browser. And like I said, this is, this is like wild to me that this technology exists. And it's gonna go and it's gonna perform that function right now. It's going to pull the query. We're gonna see a list of jobs like we would normally see if we were doing this manually. And let's go ahead and it says, could you provide the job board URL and the keyword you would like me to use? So let's have it go ahead and run the standard the standard, I like to start with lever and I like to start with uh, job title. So I'll go for this, for this search, we're actually compiling engineering internships. And so we'll have it use that as its first query. And let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. And this can be done for anything. So if you're a working professional and you're trying to find a senior engineering job or you're trying to get into C-suite or you're trying to really get into any field, you can leverage AI to build your job list. The reason why I say like if you want to get into technology, this is probably the fastest way I've found to figure out who's hiring in the space without needing to know the company name. So you don't need to think about the company, you just need to think about, okay, what are the job boards and who's hiring and what are they hiring for? And so you can see right here, I found several engineering intern positions on the Lever job board and you, you've got the full query. So now that it knows what it's doing, the next step is we need to compile these open jobs into a spreadsheet. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna actually tell it the criteria um, according to our criteria. And so this is where I like to narrow things down. So you've got your, your first hand query, like we're gonna look for all of the engineering internships on the lever job board, who's hiring. The next parameter is the criteria. So the criteria is it needs to be summer 2025. It needs to be for undergrads in engineering. It needs to be located in the United States. And then the focus area, we're looking at firmware, electrical, computer, engineering, hardware, testing, robotics, or related. And then I usually follow up with what questions do you have? And it should ask us, what's the spreadsheet? How do I access that? It's right here. 
Um, the user needs question. I'll need to check each listing to fit, to fit the user requirements. I'm ready to compile the job listings, but before I proceed, do you have any specific preferences for the spreadsheet format or additional details you'd like to include? So here's the spreadsheet. And if you've never linked a spreadsheet to an operator, all you need to do is just go into sheets and you're gonna create a new sheet and you're gonna make sure that the sheet is public so that you can share it. You can see I've got an operator in here already. That's doing another project for me. And we're gonna go ahead and provide the spreadsheet. And then I'm just gonna say, make sure, make sure to include the information from the column headings. And let's see what it comes up with. So now it's going to go and find that spreadsheet. Sometimes what will happen when it opens these spreadsheets, it'll, it, it'll tell you it doesn't have access and you can just tell it actually you do try again and it'll actually prompt it to, to actually start editing that spreadsheet. So if you run into that, you can just tell it, no, you can still access it. So let's see what it comes up with now. We've got going through. So it's actually taking the exact same process that we would take if we were manually going through the query. So first we would go to Google, we would search the query, we would look at all the listings, we'd find a listing to click on, we would click on the listing, see if the job is open. If the job is open, then we would go back um, and we would add it to our list. Very interesting. So we've got some deep learning opportunities here. And so this is where things get interesting because it's kind of a meta process. You've got you're using AI to find a job in AI so that you could work in AI. And so um, as soon as I came up with kind of this process and we've been testing it out with our clients, I'm like, I have to share this because if, if you're trying to find a way to stand out or a way to you know, get ahead or have the latest and greatest or be kind of on that forefront of emerging technologies, this process can help you speed things up. And what we're noticing is you're gonna need to do a lot more volume to get into the marketplace because there's just so many people using AI in the, in the cheating way, in my honest opinion. They're using AI to generate their resume, but they're not using AI to do research. They're not using AI to optimize their process. To me, this is a better use of your time. Have AI go out and do your research for you. Have it compile lists for you. Have it give you briefings so that you're aware of what's going on. Do not outsource your resume to AI because what's happening is everyone is doing that. And companies are getting inundated with the same resume because people are just ripping the job description, throwing it into a GPT, and then having it spit out a perfect resume. And then the reality is, is you may or may not have that actual experience and companies are starting to catch on to this. So my thought was use AI to speed up your process. Don't use AI to, you know, become your expert, you know, and, and, and outsource those, those tasks that you really should be doing yourself. So I found a machine learning intern position. Would you like me to add this to the spreadsheet? Yes, if it meets the criteria, you don't need to ask, just update the spreadsheet. So now we're just giving the AI permission to go ahead and make those decisions and go ahead and start filling out the spreadsheet. So you can see that isn't me, that is the AI. It's doing its thing right now. It's gonna fill out the date, it's gonna put in the company name, it's gonna grab that posting URL right here and give us some notes on what, what this job is all about. And what you could do is if you're trying to get as many applications out there and you wanna, ta you wanna spend your time tailoring your resumes and tailoring your cover letters and preparing for interviews so that you can win over the interviewer, you could have AI, an operator, go out and do all your research for you, do all the administrative work and, and figure out, okay, what are the best companies for my next move? And then spend your time doing the tailoring, doing the personalization in the interviewing process so that you're prepared to get those jobs. That to me would be a much better way of leveraging AI than to just run your resume through a, an AI tool and then just start dumping resumes into whatever openings you find on Indeed. Um, if you do that, you're gonna be put into a category with everybody else. If you do something like this, there's a little bit more strategy involved and you're gonna be leveraging your time in a better way and just my honest opinion. And so 
You can do this for any type of job. Like I mentioned, you don't have to do this for internships. I'm running it on internships because we have students in our program right now that are looking for summer internships. And so we need to do this research anyways. And so we're finding ways to tune the prompt and, and give the operator better information so that we can get better results. And so we're, we're testing this right now. And I, I wanted to hop on here and show you the possibilities of collecting and compiling data leveraging AI. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Liz Miller. I'm the founder of LearnRobotics.org. And I've helped thousands of people break into the future tech space in robotics, artificial intelligence, automation. And now I'm here to help you as well. So if you follow the instructions in this video, you're going to be getting some offers on the table and you'll be at the forefront of emerging technologies. I hope you found value in this training. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below. If you're interested in learning more about our upcoming sessions for the bootcamp and for mentorship, you can visit learnrobotics.org and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.